David's on fire today. I'm just he warning is. you. He is. The, it started last night uh, yes. in a text, and you've basically had it I on read, a number of different fronts. I yeah. read his text, and I got out of my chair and applauded, <laughs> though. He got a standing ovation in my house last night. I, I don't doubt that. Me and my cats. Yep. And I think it was the whole... Oh. What January sixth committee that sent you over the edge? <clears throat> well, it was with that the, the it, Trump trying to strangle the driver, yeah. because he didn't go to the Capitol on January sixth. Well, story. It was, it was that you see the state of the economy and you see uh, what happened in San Antonio with now oh. fifty one migrants cooked to death in a car, and it doesn't have to happen. No, and it really did. It just it sent me over the edge, and I can read what I what I sent you guys. You want to go pull right back ahead. the curtain? It was that in that moment, I can tell you this is the first time since the riot that I can honestly say I hope Trump runs and wins. And I hope every second of his campaign and his second term are pure mental agony for Democrats (laughs) and for the media. Because, listen, you're willing to tear down America over your hatred of Donald Trump. You had half the country believe the president worked with Russia to steal an election. You told us he was running Nazi concentration camps at the border. You tried to make us believe a Supreme Court nominee was a gang rapist. You maximized the damage of a a once-in-a-century pandemic to change the rules of a presidential election. You ruined adults' lives. You ruined children's lives. True, true. You defended deadly riots for months. Yes. And what we got was a senile, corrupt old man who is destroying our country. And you're still lying about Trump because you think it helps you somehow. I know you haven't learned your lesson, and that's why I hope Trump gets a second term, and I hope it makes you absolutely freaking miserable. (laughs) Yes! (laughs) Yes! Man, I got goosebumps. That's one of the greatest of all time right there. Yeah. Thank you, David Van Camp. Knowing that he's a Star Wars fan, I had to... Send a little meme of is it Palpatine, <laughs> the Emperor. Yes, the Emperor. Yeah, Good. <laughs> let the hate take over. All right, news update that you got to hear next.